Hello and welcome in the Polish online advent calendar. Today I want to tell you about the tradition of eating 12 Christmas dishes. Poles love eating, right? <laughs> Polish food is one of the best in the world. It's a popular custom to serve and try 12 dishes for Vigilia and Christmas Eve supper. Why not? Why 12, not 15 or 6? So 12 dishes symbolize 12 months of the year or 12 apostles. Poles believe that if you want the upcoming year to be good for you, you need to try all 12 dishes. Traditional Polish Vigilia is meatless, however, it's okay to eat fish. Some of the food you may serve for Vigilia are pierogi, of course, uh, and traditional Polish Christmas Eve dinner won't be complete without them. Uh, the famous dumplings come with different fillings. The most common ones for Christmas are pierogi ruskie with mashed pot potatoes, fried onion and farmer's cheese, pierogi z kapustą i grzybami with sauerkraut and mushrooms, pierogi z suszoną śliwką with dried plums and also sometimes pierogi with poppy seed filling. And when it comes to fish, uh, the most popular fish for Vigilia is carp fish. Uh, you can have it fried, floated in aspic or baked. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it is traditional Polish Christmas food and you can find it in almost every home uh, for Polish Christmas Eve dinner. Why carp, no any other fish? The answer is simple, poverty. World War II destroyed Poland completely including the fishing fleet and carp was relati relatively easy to bread. That's why it became so popular during communist times. When I was a kid, almost everyone was buying a living carp a few days before Christmas and we were keeping it in a bath. Uh, so on Christmas Eve, the father was killing it with a knife. I know it's quite brutal, but it's my memory <laughs> also. Uh, that's why nowadays people usually buy um, ready-to-eat carp to make sure he didn't suffer too much. Uh, plus, uh, plus, they are simply too lazy to do it, do it by themselves because no one really wanted to do it and father just needed <laughs> uh, to do it. But for example, in my husband's um, family house, uh, I think grandma was killing carp <laughs> because she just liked it for some reason. <laughs> uh, when it comes to the soups, um, people in Poland eat a mushroom soup or red borscht. In my family, we always eat mushroom żurek for Wikilia. Uh, this soup is like a variation of traditional Polish żurek uh, that is one of the most uh, popular Polish dish and mushroom soup, so it's like the combinations. Uh, I love it, my husband hates it, so it depends on the, on the taste. But many families are having mushroom soup for Vigilia that is made of uh, dried mushrooms. It's creamy and delicious. Uh, depending on the home, it uh, uh, can also be replaced with red borscht. Uh, one way or another, it's almost always served with ushka. Um, ushka are tiny dumplings filled with dried mushrooms. Uh, it's quite popular to hide one grosz, that, which is the smallest coin in, Pol uh, in Poland, inside one of the dumplings. The person who will find it will have money throughout the upcoming year. Um, the other Polish Christmas dish is kutia. It's super sweet, uh, traditional Polish Christmas food that is made of wheat, honey, raisins, poppy seeds and nuts. They are all mixed together. And how does it taste? So it's extremely sweet. So it's really hard to eat more than a few spoons. Uh, Kutia is popular not only in Poland, but also in neighboring countries such as Ukraine, Russia and Belarus. That uh, Kutia is served for Christmas uh, in the eastern part of Poland, especially in Białystok, Lublin and Rzeszów area. I'm from Rzeszów. And the other Polish Christmas dish uh, is kapusta z grochem, cabbage with peas or beans. Uh, although it may be eaten throughout the year, it's the most popular during Christmas in Poland. The dish can be made of fresh or uh, fermented uh, cabbage, sauerkraut. And it tastes amazing, uh, to be honest, it's different in every home. Uh, 
One thing that all capustas grow and have in common is strong sour taste. Uh, it is usually served with bread smeared with butter. Um, you can also have pickled herring on Polish Vigilia. It is the second most important fish. Uh, and what's the difference between carp and herring? The first one is usually served warm, whereas the second is always hot, uh, cold. Pickled herring may be accompanied with eggs, mayonnaise or sour cream, almost always served with onion. When it comes to salad, we have like one salad that is always self served for every Vigili, I think. It's Sawatka Jarzynowa, the most popular Slavic salad uh, that is eaten not only for Christmas, but all year long. Sawatka Jarzynowa is made of potatoes, uh, dill pickles, um, carrot, parsley root, celery root, eggs, and it's all mixed together with mayo. Sometimes you may also find apples, onion or leek inside. On Vigilia you can also have something with poppy seed. Um, depending on the region it may be kluski z makiem, which are sweet noodles with poppy seed and dried fruits and nuts. Makowiec, the most famous Polish cake, pop poppy seed roll. Um, and why something with poppy seed is one of the most tri Polish uh, Christmas dis dishes? It's because it's believed that eating poppy seed provides you the fertility and prosperity the upcoming year. Uh, and finally, Polish Christmas drink. We have one that is the most popular. It's kompot sushu, um, a drink made of dried fruits. Uh, it's super easy to make. You just need to put the dried fruits, apple, pears, plums, apricots, like anything uh, you have to the big pot, add water, sugar and boil and that's it. The drink is served cold, depending on your preferences. You can add cinnamon, cloves and raisins to it for more spicy taste. Each Polish Christmas food has meaning that I will explain in the next videos. But if you want to cook authentic Polish food this Christmas, you may want to buy my Polish Christmas cookbook. It includes 38 authentic Polish recipes, my family photos and the explanation of Polish Christmas traditions. If you want to buy it for yourself or as a gift to your family or friends, just click the link in the description of the video to see the full offer of the Polish Christmas cookbook. Thank you for watching and see you again tomorrow. Bye bye!